Hey YouTube land, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well today in this video we're going to take a look at the DJI Mavic Air and low noise props for it. Yes, Master Air Screw has made, put my nose between these, new, new low noise props. These are version 2. You saw in a video I did previously, I'll put a link to it below where I did version 1. Well, they've actually made them better apparently. So they sent me an email saying that these newer versions will get you 2% more flight time um, and they are supposed to be better compared to version one, slightly better. You know, if you have version one, there's probably no need to get version two unless you want a special color, but these are the version two and they sent me a blue one and a magenta one. So I've got the Mavic Air behind me. I'm going to try them out and uh, this is the area I was, I'll just move this way. This is where I was before a few videos ago, well, maybe a month ago, maybe even two months ago where we had flooding. Well, the water is still a little bit high and I still can't get to my beach. So I'm just going to take the Mavic Air and fly out that way. But I'm going to put these props on so you can see exactly uh, how they perform to see if they cause any errors or whatnot. There's my Mavic Air down there. And here's a quick look at the box that version two comes in. It looks pretty much the same as version one. Uh, same idea. They call them stealth props, low noise. You notice I use the word noise because that's basically it. The Mavic Air is extremely noisy and this just lowers the pitch of that noise. You can never get the Mavic Air to be silent no matter what you buy. So basically you're buying these props because you want it to be a little bit more quiet, a little bit more efficient in battery power, and you want the colors. See there's the colors right there, magenta and blue. And uh, here let me pull them out and show you what's inside the box. All right so here's the brightly colored blue props. They come in a bag. Uh, Master Air Screw always includes a nice little bag to keep them in. I use the bags because I just keep them nice and tight and I throw this in my kit. I toss the box away. So let's see inside. This is what a blue prop looks like. Also included in the box you get Master Air Screw stickers. You can see you can stick them on anything. Uh, you get some safety instructions here. And the very new thing they include is this quick start guide for the Mavic Air. This is to help out people who know very little about the Mavic Air and put props on. Because if you flip it over it shows you right here. If you have problems, not every Everybody's Mavic Air will have problems, but if you do, it tells you here, go to the menu, controller settings, advanced settings, and adjust the gain values to these down here, and you're all set, and you should have no issues whatsoever with these new props on. Now, if you're wondering, why do I have this really strange red cover on my Mavic Air? Well, I put it on myself, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it below, how I put on an aftermarket cover. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the different colored props and show you what it looks like. I'll put the blue ones on so that if you have a red Mavic Air, you can see what it looks like, red or black, and uh, check it out. This is what the color looks like. Through the Mavic Magic of video, this is going to change to blue. Ta-da! And now we have blue props on it. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if this little Osmo pocket can pick that up well. Let me move the Osmo pocket around here so you can, you can see. So that is a red Mavic Air with blue props. That's what you would get. It looks pretty cool, actually. I know you probably want to see it with the magenta props. So uh, here, let me put the magenta ones on and show you that. And there's the magenta ones. Actually, the magenta ones kind of make it look like an FPV race quad because on race quads, you always put some really awkward color like pink, magenta, green, lime, bright yellow. Yeah, so that's what it kind of looks like. It looks pretty cool with red. All right, so uh, let's try this out. All right, so I put the blue props back on and what I'm going to show you now is just in case you've never seen the difference between the Master Air Screw low noise props and the original props that come with the Mavic Air, I'm going to show you a quick example of the difference right now. <laughs> So you can tell by that example, the only difference would be the pitch. One was a high pitch and the other was a low pitch. The master air screw being low pitch, which is less annoying. Still noisy, but low pitch. So now I have made no adjustments whatsoever to the gain settings on the Mavic Air. This is just out of the box, props on. I'm going to fly it. I'm going to see if I get any error messages. Let's take off. There we go. And let's go up. Actually, it sounds pretty quiet on the ground. Let's see when it goes up. It looks pretty cool with the blue there. <laughs> it looks pretty neat. Let's take it up. All right. So I have no errors on my screen. I'm also doing a screen record so you can see my screen in case I get any errors. Let's just take it straight up. There we go. I'm going to take it to a height of about uh, 20 meters. 20 meters. I'm going to put the camera down a bit. 
and I'm going to fly it forward over the flooding because I have to drive my car out there, but I still can't get out there. So far, zero issues with these props. Moving forward. I guess I'm not taking my car over that road. Check it out. It's flooded still. Crap. I'll never get to the beach. All right. Let's go this way. It's all good that way. It is windy out here and uh, I'm getting no error messages. And once again, I have not adjusted any of the gain settings that Master Air Screw asked me to adjust. Uh, it's right out of the box. They said that version two is a little bit better with the Mavic Air and not causing issues. Am I high enough? That tree kind of looks like it's coming at me, but there are sensors on this thing. They should scream if, there is, if I'm in trouble. Okay, we're good there. So the bridge looks fine. I'm gonna take it up higher than 20 meters. I think these trees are higher than 20 meters. Hey, got a sec here. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. I'll take it up to 30 meters. There we are. So I can see right there, looking down at my road, there's no way I'm gonna be getting down to the beach that way. It's still kind of flooded over there. Not too good. So coming over this way, and yeah, there's the road. Not looking good at all for my ability to get to my beach. What I wanna do is get out to the beach and do some uh, RC boating out there and also some flying because the beach is a great place to fly. I have all the water. Great shots you can get out that way. So there's the beach coming up and my access to it. I will need a boat to get out there. So uh, the water has pulled back. It's not totally flooded. This was totally underwater when I was filming a while ago. So once again on the screen of my controller as I arrive at the end of the beach, there are zero errors happening. So everything is working out well. Now I'm getting strong interference because I'm shooting Wi-Fi here, so I have to go up higher. Way up in the air. Let's take it up to 40 meters. Look at that. Just a beautiful reflection of the clouds on the water and birds flying over. Let's just spin to the left. Look at that. That almost looks, that looks so wild. See birds down there. And uh, looks quite good. So I'm going to bring it back to me in uh, sport mode. And I'll see if I have any problems in sport mode. Because some people complain that with the master air screw props in sport mode, they would get some sort of error happening on the screen. Um, let me just see. I'm going to bring it back. Bring it back to me. I am back this way, so I'm sort of flying into the sun, so my image should get a little darker. All right, here we go. Flick it over to sport mode, and uh, here we go, full speed. Of course, in sport mode, I'm getting some breakup because it is Wi Fi and I'm flying over trees, but it should still keep coming at me, even though I can't see the video because I'm getting closer and closer. So this. I'm getting a lot of break up here. No signal. Mavic Air and your Wi-Fi signal. Look what you did to me. <laughs> All right. Just to show you, I have no problems with sport mode. I'm going to take it up to uh, 50 meters so I don't lose signal as much. There, it's at 55 meters high. And uh, let's just shoot it out on that road in sport mode. Here we are. So far, I see no issues whatsoever. And I have made no changes to my gain settings for these props. So this is a good news for anybody that buys these props. You don't really have to change the gain settings on your Mavic Air. Everything should be well. Yeah, so look at this. I'm going at sport mode and uh, I'm going to spin it around now because I lost reception out there. Oh my God, is that ever flooded? Holy crap. All right, let's bring it back to me. Coming back over the tiny marina. Hey, at least the marina is not flooded like last time. So all that turning everything, no issues with sport mode. Everything's good. I'm over here to the right and I'm down there. I'm going to take it out of sport mode when I get really close. That's me down there coming over top. Here I am coming down doing some crazy stuff. And once again, the props are performing well, no issues on my controller and uh, no issues on my screen whatsoever with the actual props. So, Master Airscrew, you did a great job with these props. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is 
I'm going to bring my little Mavic Air over here. So here I am talking over this noise of the props and I'm sure you can hear me because they're not that loud. So here we go. These are the props. I'm going to put links below to the Master Air Screw site. They might have more colors than they sent me. I'm not sure. These are the two colors they sent me plus black. I already had the black one so I didn't use them. Uh, check out the links below and check how much they cost because I have no idea and see if there's something for you. You already saw in my video, they're better than version one. I had no errors on my screen. So other than this thing and it's Wi-Fi performance, <laughs> but that's the Mavic Air. What do you expect? It's Wi-Fi. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.